okay so can we go back you know let's say quasi concavity alone cannot guarantee concavity but can i just add something to it uh, you know and uh, get concavity you know i mean let's say quasi concavity plus some other property you know can i uh, can i do that i mean quasi concavity plus some other property does that imply concavity so are there properties like that you know so it turns out that the answer is yes okay uh, so uh, you know so if you have let's say quasi concave function and plus quasi linear function okay so if quasi concave plus quasi linear okay uh, you will get concavity okay so okay uh, so quasi concavity alone does not imply concavity but uh, quasi concavity plus quasi linearity implies concavity okay uh, so let me just uh, give you the formal result and then we'll prove it okay is that fine okay so let me write the statement okay so suppose we have a quasi linear function okay uh, so let's call this u z y okay so it's a quasi linear function u z y which is equal to z plus g y okay and uh, this particular y is coming from uh, you know rn okay so it's a subset of rn okay and this particular z is actually coming from real line okay fine so i mean you can you can say that this is rn plus okay if if you are talking about utility function and uh, well z is in r right now you know we are going to take z as r but once we'll show this then we can you know once we are able to show that this is quasi con this particular function is concave and uh, if z u is u, if u is quasi concave then u is concave if, if we can show that uh, for for real line then of course we can restrict the domain to r plus and then we can talk about utility functions you know and it will stay concave so it's it's not a problem you know even if this is real line it's not a problem okay uh, so uh, so all that we have to do is we just have to show this result and then uh, we'll be able to show that any utility function uh, that is uh, that is quasi linear and quasi concave uh, is also concave is that fine So I'm going to show this in two steps. Okay, the first step is I'm going to show that if G is concave, then U is concave. Okay, uh, so step one is if G is concave, then U is concave. So can you tell me why is that true? Step one. So if G is concave, then U is concave. why is this true i mean we have already used i mean we have already done some results exactly you know so if you have this gy you can extend the domain include z in it you know uh, and then gy will be a concave function z is a linear function it is a concave function some of the two concave functions concave you know i mean just make sure that do the appropriate domain extension and then you can use the sum theorem uh, to show that uh, you know this this is a concave function okay so if g is concave then u is concave okay so the second step will be that i'm going to show that if u is quasi concave then g is concave okay so if u is quasi concave then g is concave okay so this is uh, you know another step which is needed so once i'm able to show this then you know because u is quasi concave implies g is concave and g is quasi con g is concave implies u is concave so u is quasi concave implies u is concave so basically i'll be able to complete the proof so i'm 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 just going to show this one now is that fine okay so how do we show this well so i'm going to of course i'm going to assume that u is quasi concave and i'm going to show that g is concave so if i want to show that g is concave what do i need to show I need what what will be my first step okay i mean i always ask this so, yeah so what what will be my first step i want to show that g is concave pick arbitrary y prime y double prime okay and uh, show that 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 particular inequality holds you know uh, for this particular function g okay so consider arbitrary 
y prime y double prime in y and a lambda between 0 and 1 okay consider arbitrary y prime y double prime in y and lambda between 0 and 1 now now i want to show what i want to so i'll just write it here you know this is what i want to show i want to show that g of lambda y prime plus 1 minus lambda y double prime is greater than or equal to lambda g y prime plus 1 minus lambda g y double prime okay so i'm going to use this information that i have which is u is quasi concave to show this inequality okay so how can we proceed and show this what do you think okay so let let me just uh, you know try this okay uh, so uh, what we can do is uh, because u is quasi concave and the domain is actually rn cross y cross r okay so of course i have to i mean i cannot just use y prime i have to also use some some kind of z prime with it to be able to use quasi concavity okay so what i'm going to do is uh, you know i'm going to consider let's say z prime is zero okay uh, i mean i can just take z prime to be zero and i can consider z double prime to be um, okay so let me tell you why I'm, I'm i'm doing this so basically you know i want to i want to use quasi concavity of u okay so what i want what i'll do is i'll just pick z prime y prime and z double prime y double prime in such a way that they lie on the level curve for you, the same level curve for you. Okay, is that fine? So I'm going to pick uh, z prime y prime z double prime y double prime in such a way that because I have this y prime y double prime, so I can always choose z prime z double prime in in any way I like. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick them in such a way that z prime y prime and z double prime y double prime both lie on the level curve okay on a on a same level curve for you for for utility function u okay uh, so okay so what about this okay uh, so i want this right i mean i want u z prime y prime equals z prime plus g y prime and i want this to be equal to u z double prime y double prime which is z double prime plus g y double prime okay so if i take z prime to be zero what is my z double prime it is g y prime minus g y double prime okay so g y prime minus g y double prime okay so uh, because z is in real line so this is acceptable okay i can do that Okay, now if I look at these two points, z prime, uh, sorry. Now if I look at these two points, which is zero comma y prime, okay, and uh, uh, z, uh, z double prime comma y double prime, do you agree they both give you give the same level of satisfaction? Yes, because the way we have chosen our z double prime, they both give the same level of satisfaction. Yes or no? Okay, now I'll tell you why I did this. Okay, this is actually a very helpful trick. Okay, uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use the quasi concavity of u. Okay, so what is um, what is quasi concavity quasi concavity is equivalent to averages are better than extremes so i'll use averages are better than extremes so what is averages are better than extremes that u of uh, lambda uh, zero comma y prime plus one minus lambda uh, z double prime y double prime is greater than or equal to okay uh min of u zero y prime and u z double prime y double prime do you agree it's a min of these two 
right now min of these two is this as well as this right it's the same thing it's the same value do you agree min of this comma this it's the same value right because this is equal these are equal yes or no so can i write it like this i mean i'm just asking can i write it like this instead of writing the min can i take the convex combination of them and can i write it like this because they are the same value right so if they are the same value they're the, they're the same number right so min of them is the same thing as the max of them is the same thing as any convex combination of them right i mean yes or no can i write like this okay and that's the reason why i did it okay i mean now you will see that you will be able to act Actually, you know, uh, uh, use the definition of u, and you will get this inequality. Okay, I, I mean that's the trick. Okay, I'm um, that's that that's it. Okay, uh, so uh, so let's uh, let's just do this. Uh, so uh, this is u of you know, like if I if I just add them up, I'll get uh, lambda times zero plus one minus lambda times z double prime. So I'm going to get one minus lambda z double prime. Okay, comma lambda y prime plus one minus lambda y double prime okay and uh, this is greater than or equal to uh, lambda u zero y prime plus one minus lambda u z double prime y double prime okay and now you can use the definition of u which is this okay uh, so this is going to give you one minus lambda z double prime plus g of this thing okay g of lambda y prime plus one minus lambda y double prime and it is greater than or equal to what is this uh, lambda zero plus g y prime so i'm going to get lambda uh, g y prime okay and plus one minus lambda what is u or what is this this is just z double prime so one minus lambda z double prime plus one minus lambda g of y double prime okay now you can just cancel these two okay and this is exactly what i wanted to show right yes or no yes or no okay great so basically you know we have shown that if u is quasi concave and quasi linear uh, then u is concave okay uh, so this is very helpful okay uh, because you know i mean most of the time it's just the r2 plus okay and uh, if you want to figure out the concavity you have to draw the domain is r2 plus so you have to draw you know uh, the function in three dimension so this actually helps you to you know if you know that a function is quasi concave and quasi linear okay you know the definition of quasi linear you know the definition of quasi concave quasi concave concavity is easier to identify because you know when it's a function on two dimensional space you can just plot the level curves and then identify whether it is quasi concave or not so if you know in addition to quasi concavity that the function is quasi linear then you can just combine these two results uh, and uh, you know you'll be able to figure out whether the function is concave or not because quasi concavity plus quasi linearity gives you concavity is that fine okay 